Howdy, Gemini. Welcome to your December 2015 love reading. It's Raina here. And I picked some wonderful cards for you, I think. And I believe that out of the three air signs, yours is the best overall in terms of love energy. So the first card represents your current state of affairs as the month of December begins, and it's the three of wands. So this is a card of someone who is watching their business take off to expand. The number three relates to creativity and expansion. And there's a prosperous feeling to this energy. It's not all the way there yet, but it is growing all the time. And in terms of your love life, this may mean that your focus is on your own endeavors but you're generating a lot of positive vibes. And that's always wonderful when you're trying to attract the perfect partner for yourself. The more enthusiastic we are about life in general, the more likely I think that we can attract good in every area of our lives. So the next card I picked describes why you are experiencing type of enthusiastic energy. And I got the King of Cups. Now, this could mean that for those of you who work with other people, that there may be somebody at work who is a more established, older male, who is a great listener, who is very sensitive to your needs, and who has been helping you deal with life. And this is somebody that could be in a position of authority since it's a king. And it could also be almost like a father figure, a mentor, or just an older man who happens to be in a position of authority. And if any of you have been experiencing heartache, sadness because of a past relationship that went kaput, then this might be the person who is helping you get over that. And you're also seeing your career thrive or your business thrive. And it's making you feel as if you have a new lease on life, really, you could say, because there's so much enthusiasm being generated. And then I picked the card to represent the message from the universe and this is in the middle of the spread so you can see that it's flanked by two pairs of cards and i got the ace of cups which is the beginnings of a relationship falling in love that phase so i'm wondering if some of you are falling in love with this good listener if there's someone in your life and maybe it isn't on the job front maybe it's maybe you met this person somewhere else but you have a confidant that you can turn to who you thought was a friend, but turns out that you have deeper feelings for this person. In any case, whether it's connected to the King of Cups or not, the message to send to you in the month of December is that there is the potential for a new love relationship to take root and speaking of roots and foundations, the advice to take is the Emperor card in the Major Arcana. And this is a card of grounding yourself. It's a number four, which indicates stability. So self-control, the things in society that we look to as structures. In this particular reading, I suspect that it is advising you, if you are starting to fall in love, that you not go off the rails, that you maintain your focus and your discipline, and that you stay centered. Because with that three of wands to begin the reading, you will want to make sure that you do not jeopardize any endeavors that you have that are beginning to pay off for you financially and creatively. 
So let's say you're a musician and you're trying to come up with inspiration and then you fall in love with somebody and you just abandon that and get sucked into a relationship. This card is saying, start everything on a firm foundation. Don't go off on a romantic tangent and be aware of the need to apply consistency to whatever project you're working on that is really giving you so much happiness. You don't want to neglect that in favor of yet another relationship because then it won't be on solid ground. And the last card that I picked as the outcome card is the hanged man. And this is a card that can mean that there is some kind of suspension in the relationship, that there is a testing time that needs to run its course. And it can even be in the form of a separation, I think, in certain circumstances where the other person is somehow removed from your life temporarily, maybe a job relocation, or if they need to finalize a divorce and they cannot yet be with you, even though you guys have fallen in love, you might realize that. It might be that you need to kind of give up some aspect of control in order to be with another person. So let's say someone has an addiction and they, the other person says, I can't be with you until you stop drinking. And you do it because you really love that person. You've fallen in love. There are many possibilities, but this is a spiritual card, I think, is the bottom line. And it requires of you the, the, the ability to view your situation from a deeper perspective and to possibly take some time out to kind of reevaluate. And for some of you who are the ones who are still in a committed relationship yourself, you might have to break from that relationship and break from your past in general, because that is also a meaning of this card. So there may be some transitional elements in the month of December for you, Gemini, but I see new love for some of you. And it seems to be really touching that heart chakra. And you're also very enthusiastic about whatever you are creating in your reality, whether it's some sort of art or some sort of business or your career. So I think you're in a great place and I wish you the best in the month of December. If you would like a personalized reading, please click on the link below and take care. Bye.